should do it, I think. And that's how it's done.
If you'll entertain my idea here. Thank goodness I got that right.
Here's an interesting one. And that's how it's done. Hearing that 100 million pounds had disappeared, we all naturally assumed that someone had stolen it or hidden it somewhere. But in fact, it literally did disappear. I get it, yes. It's all about perspective, eh? It disappeared because it was never there in the first place. Oh, it was there. But the question is, where is it now? And the answer is gone with the wind. You've got to stop watching that film, Cat. All those crisp notes carried away on the breeze to become the property of the vast sky where greed and wealth mean nothing. Have I mentioned this nice little place I know where people look after you in crisp coats? Crisp white coats. The money is gone. It's the property of the heavens now. Isn't that right? Oh, hell! <laughs> You can't be serious! Yes, Miss Leighton. You're right. Well done. Kill me now, or tell me it's the 1st of April. Cat, come on. Explain before my head explodes. A vault for such large sums of money naturally calls for... extremely thick, impenetrable walls. As a result, the interior is a hermetically sealed environment. A completely airtight box. No one could steal anything from such a place, surely. Yeah, exactly. And that would include the wind. Sealed environments need aircon to stop their contents spoiling. And that's the key to this place. Sadly, 
the brand new air conditioning unit in the vault malfunctioned on the night in question, leaving a near vacuum inside. Early this morning, the poor, unsuspecting branch manager came in to check on the vault, opening the door and breaking the seal. The sudden rush of external air caused all the notes to be sucked into the ventilation system and ejected out into the night sky over London. I'll be blown. And of course, while a theft would have entitled the bank to an insurance payout, an accident like this is the bank's responsibility. So who's actually to blame then? If I had to identify a culprit in this case, it would be the person from the bank who resolved to dress up the truth as Grand Larceny, the Layman's Reserve Bank's general manager. You, Ms. Teller. Oh, I've given my all to this bank over the years. It's over now, I suppose. I can't possibly hope to keep my job after this. Can't you? Sorry. I don't want you to quit, Bianca. Mr. Sloanes. Miss Layton explained everything to me earlier, so I got the boffins on the job. By analysing the wind direction, we worked out a plan and sent out the cleaners to fetch the money back. We got about 80% of it. Damage control, you could say. Really? Oh, thank goodness. That's not to say the remaining 20% isn't going to sting. At 20 million pounds, that's quite a loss. Of course. But in some ways, 20 million is a small price to pay. Sorry? That new vault, the Hermit 5000, is a product of one of my affiliate companies. If we hadn't identified this malfunction before we'd sold it to countless other banks, we could have been in for damages far exceeding 20 million. So, I've arranged it that my vault manufacturing firm will compensate the loss. The bank can continue to operate as normal. Oh, Mr. Sloan! <laughs> Thank you so much! <coughs> oh, I hope you'll continue to do the sterling work you've done up to now for the bank. Oh, definitely!